Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Brandon from Audio Addiction bringing you yet another reaction video. Excited to bring this one, a highly requested one if I do say so myself, uh, of Hail the Sun's newest track, Under the Floor. I've been on vacation so I wasn't able to do this on release but I knew I had to get this one out so I am recording a bunch of videos that people requested or asked for over the break and uh, now I'm bringing them to you. So excited to delve into this one. This is off of their new album, Divine Entertainment. Uh, and I loved their previous song, Chunker. I've been listening to that a ton. Uh, just absolutely cannot put that song down. So I feel like if it's anything like this song, probably going to enjoy this one a lot too. So without further ado, I am excited. So let's hop into this and like not spare any more time. Let's, let's rock guys. Ooh. This dissonance. Ooh. I see red over white in the view of my last sight. Disappears. Is that a little blast beat action? This is so dynamically fun. I love it. This track, oh, gorgeous. Ooh, like the little vocoder effect. Nice. This is awesome. Oh my god, the riffs, the drumming, the bass playing, the vocals. Alright guys, well that was Hail the Sun's newest track, Under the Floor. I... I... I don't know man. I feel like each year... <laughs> each year I do these, like, album reviews, 
like I'm so excited to review this album when it comes out in August. I feel like bands genuinely have like a meeting of the minds where they say like, hey, so I'm going to be releasing this banger this year. So like we're going to make it really hard for album reviewers online to <laughs> <laughs> just have a hard time. Um, I know that's actually not the case, but uh, you know, I kind of feel that way a little bit. But either way, this is another fantastic single. I think this. I, I don't want to. I want to count the chickens before they hatch, but I want to say that musically, these have been probably the most interesting, or at least I would say technically proficient tracks that Hell is Sun has been releasing in quite a hot minute. I would argue. Um, there's just something about it that I think instrumentally, and very similarly to. Um, their previous track chunker musicality wise i just feel like they might be on a different level now like there was something about it where like even previous like new age felt i really enjoyed that album i go back and listen to that one pretty frequently and i watch my review i watch my review uh recently about that um when the album originally released i just feel like there's just something about these songs that they're there's just something in the water in terms of their writing process or like how they changed it up um I know in the in Chunker, some people were saying that um, that Alan might be their like drummer and might have done the drumming for this new album. I just think there's just a freshness. I don't want to say that previous albums didn't have, but there's just something about maybe the songwriting or or the way that everything kind of feels about the musicality of this album that I would argue separates it from all of their material. Um, just because there's something about it where the guitar riffs feel a little bit more like dynamically interesting. That beginning part where it was really dissonant and really like dark and brooding. I love that. Uh, it does kind of give me a little bit of like wake vibes. Uh, and then once you get into like the actual like song, like the verses and stuff, everything kind of breaks out. The bass playing by John is incredible. Arik and Shane are nuts on the guitar as per usual. Um, something I really kind of gravitate towards. Uh, uh, Donnie's vocal range, I think, has gotten so much better since, like, the for last album, which even wasn't that bad to begin with at all. But just his vocal styling, like, there's some really cool, like, falsetto-y sort of parts. There's some really high, like, wispy sort of, like, higher range vocals that I don't know if he's really tapped into prior to this album as much. And, or I would say maybe, I would say with more conviction with these songs. And there's just, there's just something about this album that I just feel feel like is just totally different just makes me excited for divine intertention i just think they're they're really doing something that every time i listen to it i just almost have to pick my jaw up from the floor because i'm so shocked at how like the musicality of each song and the way that they kind of accentuate certain parts in the song in some ways where they'll just kind of give you that like breath of like oh we're going to have Alan do like a little bit of a blast beat part and really kind of separate that. Or we're going to put these really cool vocoder effects on Donnie's vocals to kind of separate that part of the song. And they're just moments of each song, each part of this song that I would like, oh, I, I was not expecting that. That's really cool. I like that. And then we'll go into the next part and I'm like, oh, I like that part even more than the part that I just said I liked. And then there would be another part that would come in and I'd be like, I like that more than the two parts that I just said that I liked before that part. So I just think they are one upping themselves in like the best and coolest way possible. Um, and I don't want to say like, I feel like this is going to be high up on my albums of the year tier list already, just because we've only had three. I mean, we've had three singles and we're I'm recording this at the end of June. So we still got maybe I would argue like one more single left before the album drops. They've just been fun. And so I can only imagine that some of the songs that are not released, I'm just curious how they're going to turn out. Because if they're giving you some of these songs that are like what they feel like are might be the best songs to, you know, might be like the best indication of what the album's going to be like, can only imagine what the actual songs that aren't singles are like, you know? So I, I think it gives me a lot of hope, a lot of, a lot of excitement, a lot of anticipation for the new release. I, I, I'm stoked. Uh, I feel like that's very much an understatement, but this, this, uh, this is very much climbed the ranks of anticipated albums of this year, um, in every way, shape or form. Uh, I just feel like they have stepped their 
their game up tremendously and uh, I just got to give it up to the Hell of Sun team because I've been following them for like a long time. I've interviewed them like two or three times now and uh, I've pretty much, rec- I think I've done a review for all of their albums. I'm pretty damn sure. So um, yeah, I just think that they ha- they are like a fine wine. They just keep getting better with age and uh, I'm always excited to put out new Hail the Sun videos because I honestly think they deserve it. They've been crushing it for a long time and I think this is going to be that album for them that I hope allows them to kind of break out even more so because the technicality of it I think will get those people that are musicians that love the sort of technical prowess that um, musicians bring in that aspect and that's I don't feel like is any diss to people that aren't musicians and can't appreciate that I still think there probably is a sub subset of people that will enjoy it in that aspect but I think you're as a musician you can get a lot of appreciation for it and i think even as a listener like you can get a lot of appreciation for how much of a step up this is comparatively to like new age filth or like mental knife you know so i think they just really have this way about them that i don't know they they just have something in the water and and i'm just very 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 excited for divine intertention so you can expect a live review once that drops your boy's going to be hanging out. We're going to experience this all live. So I hope you'll join me for that. But um, let me know what you think about Under the Floor down in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree? Would love to know your thoughts about just Hail the Sun in general and this song and what you think about all the singles. Do you think we're going to get another single? Would love to know down below. And if you enjoyed this reaction video, make sure to share, like, subscribe. It does go a long way. I'm trying to hit 5K before the year's over with. So if you could help me get to that goal, I would love you so much. I mean, I would love you already, but just, you know, a little bit more. So thank you for watching. I love all of you, and I hope to catch you in the next video. Peace.